Being a new party, our biggest struggle is just letting people know what we stand for and what we're all about. I want to be very clear tonight that the People's Alliance was built for the sole purpose of actually changing the system of politics and government. Kirk said it best. People run for office to do good. I don't believe they have bad intentions. But the reality is, when they get in, they have no choice. And until we reform the system to allow MLAs to represent us once again, you once again, we're going to continue down this road of a form of dictatorship. Um, our party stands for MLAs representing constituents over party leader, and we've taken examples like Wilson and Tate, who asked a very uh, important question in the leg legislature and was forced to apologize. No MLA should ever be forced to apologize for asking any question in a democratic legislature. That, that's, that's, I, I can't even wrap my head around that. That's number one. Stuart Jameson, who questioned the sale of MB Power, he was booted. Jim Parrott, who questioned the cost of duality in healthcare and why we have du two healthcare systems in the province of New Brunswick, he gets booted. So it's not the issues of fracking and NB power, because tomorrow there will be another issue. It's the issue of the system that has got to change. Here, 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 here. And, and I just want to encourage you. Uh, you know, we're gaining support on a regular basis, and I can say that sincerely. We are getting calls constantly from people that see where we're coming from, that we're not out in left field. We're bringing a very common sense approach to politics and government. We're taking very balanced policies and things that just can work better, that we know can work better. And so that when you get good guys that, that get elected, they can do what their constituents want them to do and have asked them to do by the vote in the ballot box.